Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, I had a request to do a um, crochet tutorial on the stems and the leaf and the uh, spiral for the, the pumpkin cozy. So I'm um, going to go through real quick and show you how I make those. Um, hopefully you'll be able to, to follow along um, well. So we're going to start out making our slip knot for our stem. So I just twist it around my fingers there. See, I cross it over. Just grab that. Um, and this is the short end that I'm grabbing there. Grab that and I pull it through and make the slip knot. All right, I'm using a um, five millimeter or an H um, crochet hook. And this is the, the Clover brand hook here. So I just slide that in my slip knot and then I pull the, um, the short tail and make it nice and snug up against my crochet hook. Leave a, leave a little bit of space in there so that it moves around and you can actually pull the stitches through, okay? You don't wanna make that too tight. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to, um, we are gonna crochet um, a chain of five, all right? So just loop around and pull through. There's one, loop around, pull through two, loop around, pull through three, loop around, pull through four, and there's number five. So when you're done, you should have um, a chain that looks like this. You can see one, two, three, four, five stitches on your chain. Um, so when I stitch into my chain, um, most people will stitch into this top loop here. Um, I don't stitch in there. I actually turn it on its back and you can see the, um, the ridges across here, I actually stitch into that loop on the ridge. So just through this top um, top ridge on the back, it just gives you a nice clean um, look whenever you're, um, when you're done stitching into that, that row. So um, we're gonna do four stitches. Uh, so we're going to go into the second chain from the hook. So here's the first one. We're gonna go into this second one here. So you're gonna go through and you can see I'm just going through um, that, that loop that we talked about there. I'm going to go through, grab the yarn, pull it through, and you're going to have two loops on your hook. This is going to be a single crochet. So you got the two loops on your hook. You're going to grab the yarn here and pull through the two. Now we're going to go into the next. Doing the same thing, just through that loop. You're going to grab, pull through, and then pull through the two stitches on your hook. Third crochet, single crochet, you're going to pull up a loop, grab and pull through the two stitches on the hook. And then we're going to do that one last time here. Pull through and pull through the two stitches on the hook. All right. So now we're just going to snip off our yarn. And then we'll just pull that through, pull tight. And there we have our little stem for our um, apple or our pumpkin, all right? And that, that is the same for both of your cozies, the apple and the pumpkin. <clears throat> so now I'm gonna switch to a smaller hook. Um, we're actually gonna do the, um, we're gonna do the, the pumpkin spiral next. Again, we're gonna do our slip stitch. I just wrap it around my fingers, turn it, grab it there, and just pull it through. All right, we're gonna put it on. And this time we are going to do a chain of 10. Um, and I am using, I uh, forgot to mention here, I'm using a three and a half millimeter um, crochet hook here, or an E. Um, I use the smaller one on the, the uh, pumpkin spiral and that way um, it gives a little bit tighter stitch and it gives you a, um, a little bit tighter um, spiral. It's not so, so chunky on that spiral. So let's go ahead and start out chain and 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, so there's your 10 stitches. Again, you're gonna turn it over on its back. Second chain from the hook. So we're gonna start here. So there's the, there's the first one you can see. Here's the second one. We're just going to do what we call a slip stitch and we're going to pull it through and then through the loop that's on there. So you're not going to pull up a loop um, like you do in the single crochet. 
you're just going to pull it straight on through. So the next thing, we're going to do a single crochet. So we're going to put it in the next um, loop. You're going to pull up that loop on your hook. So you got two there. Grab it and pull through. So there is um, your first single crochet. So now we're going to do another single crochet in that same spot. Pull up a loop, pull through, and we're going to repeat this in that same stitch a total of four times. So you'll have four stitches four stitches in that um, that second set of stitches that we made there okay so the first one was a slip stitch and then it was four into that next again we're going to do four into the next one so pull it up one two three and four single crochets all right should start seeing your work starting to, to curl up where we're adding all those extra stitches. Into the next one, we're going to pull through and pull it up. We're going to do four in this one also, so four single crochets. Two, three, and four. All right. And we're going to go into the next stitch. Again, four more of them. One, two, three, four. Right. And there's no there's no science um, to this. I mean, we're just trying to create a spiral effect. If you want to do, um, if you want to do two slip stitches at the beginning and then go into your sets of four so you have less at the um, less at the end that's fine also um, I may actually do it slightly different in my other video um, just freehanding it and just trying to get this um, the spiral effect here so I'm going to do that one more time into this stitch and then we're going to do single crochets um, to finish it off so one more set of four so here we go one two three, pull through, and four. All right, so you can see we have um, two stitches left on the hook. We're just going to do a single crochet into both of those. So here's one. And be careful when you're doing that. You don't want to split your yarn and have your, um, have your, uh, hook through part just part of the stitch sometimes that that yarn will split you don't want to split your yarn okay so we do two single crochets at the end and we're going to cut that Oop, if I can get my scissors to work sorry about that we're going to pull through and just kind of snug that down and then we just want to grab our little tendril and kind of work it the way it needs to go and give it a nice little stretch there and now your little tendril is ready for your coffee cozy and then the last one I'm actually going to switch to a, um, a size four and a half a size four and a half um, hook so let's start with our green yarn again um, we're going to create our slip stitch again pull it through and then we are going to stick it on our hook so on this one we're going to start out by chaining six so one two three four five six Seven. turn it over on its back and we're going to go into the second um, second chain from the hook so there's your first and we're going to go into the second one here we are just going to do a slip stitch here so just pull it straight through the chains that are on the hook second one we are going to do a single crochet so you're going to pull one loop up and pull through now this is where things get a little bit different because we're actually going to do a half double crochet here so half double crochet and then in the next stitch, next two stitches, we're going to do a double crochet. So let me, I'm going to take that back out and 
just show you what I did there just a little bit slower. I realized I went a little fast on that. So on your half double crochet, you're going to pick up a loop. You're going to put it through that chain. So as you're going through, you should have um, the three loops on the hook. Grab, you're gonna pull through, and you're gonna pull up out a loop. So now you've got three loops on the hook, all right? You wanna grab and pull through all three loops on the hook that creates your half double crochet, all right? Now we're gonna go into uh, what we call double crochet, and your double crochet is very similar to your half double crochet, um, except for in the second part, instead of pulling through all three loops, you create two separate set of stitches, and I'll show you how that's done. So we're gonna pull up a loop, go through your base chain there, you're gonna pull up the loop, all right? So here we are, we've got the three loops on the hook again, we're gonna yarn over, and instead of pulling through all three, we're just gonna pull through those first two, all right? And then we're going to yarn over again and pull through two more loops on the hook. So that creates your double crochet. And as you can see, we're, we're building that stitch. It's stacking and getting a little bit bigger there. So we're gonna yarn over again and do another double crochet in the very last stitch here. So go through your base chain there, pull up a loop, and you can see here, three stitches on the hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two more, all right? Now once we get here, we're gonna finish this off with a single crochet, and we're gonna make that single crochet in that very last stitch. So it's gonna be in the same stitch that you just did that last double crochet in, okay? So you're gonna pull up a loop there, and then you're just gonna pull through both little chains on the hook, and there is your um, there's your finished leaf. So we just take that, we're gonna cut the yarn, and then you pull that through, snug it down, and you have your um, little leaf for your apple cozy. Thank you all for watching. If you like my videos, um, like, comment, subscribe, and um, let me know that you know, let me know you like them and I'll continue making them. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.